To reproduce, HIV must invade an immune system cell and utilize the host cell's reproductive machinery to make copies of itself, often killing the host cell in the process. New viral particles emerge from the host and go on to affect other cells. Most AIDS drugs slow HIV replication by inhibiting viral enzymes within cells already affected by HIV. A new class of drugs, viral entry inhibitors, are designed to protect healthy cells from HIV infection by blocking early steps in the viral life cycle. For HIV infection to occur, the virus typically interacts with two receptors or doorways on the cell surface, CD4 and a co-receptor, CCR5. CCR5 is the primary co-receptor used by HIV for entry. The GP120 protein of HIV first attaches to the CD4 receptor on the cell membrane. Only then can the virus bind with the co-receptor. Thereafter, the membrane of the virus and the cell fuse, and the genetic material of HIV enters the cell. Pro-140 is a monoclonal antibody that attaches to the same portion of the CCR5 co-receptor to which HIV normally binds. In this way, Pro-140 protects healthy cells from infection by physically blocking the virus from completing the second step in the entry process. HIV that fails to complete its life cycle is no longer viable. The normal function of CCR5 is to bind chemokines molecules that regulate inflammation. Other HIV drugs that target CCR5 bind deep with the pocket of the receptor and thereby inhibit binding of both HIV and chemokines. The long-term disruption of the chemokine inflammatory response has unknown consequences. Conversely, Pro-140 is designed to both block HIV and permit normal chemokine binding. Early clinical testing indicates that Pro-140's long half-life contributes to the masking of CCR5 receptors for up to two months. Thus, infrequent dosing with Pro-140 may be possible compared to small molecule drugs which require daily dosing.